And yeah. it's very exciting to see how, just to touch on that as well, how you're mentioning human in the loop. Is that a big thing? And is it always going to be a big thing to what Cloud Factory is doing? Because it's so important. I see a lot of customers say in a lot of companies, we deal with um, NLP software, we deal with all these different things and from a media arm. And it seems just such a such a big thing for, for companies to do, to make sure that human is in the loop, to make sure that that value is being checked, to make sure the data is being checked, to make things, sure those things happen. How, how are you seeing that go forward with all the digital experiences? Yeah, I think that there's, um, I think that there's reality today and I think it, it's, it's sort of where things are going. So the reality today that uh, a lot of people if they aren't actually fighting the good fight of getting AI into production and yeah. solve problems at scale, they, if you're in that fight, you understand the importance of being able to um, incorporate and coordinate uh, large global workforces. And it requires uh, just a, a ton of heavy lifting in order yeah. to get the, to, to, to build a model uh, with the data that you need. And then there's the other side of, of knowing that in, in many, many use cases, um, even in many cases, like just advancing from 25% automation to 40% can be industry changing. Yeah. Um, and so we'll often talk about things like, oh, if we could just get to 99%, but, but in many cases, it's still huge if you can go from 25 to 40%. But even if you get to that 99%, in so many use cases, the the number of we always talk about kind of the number of corner cases and, and unique cases all these sorts of things are actually in the real world right the wild west that that the real world lives in not in kind of the r d uh basement yeah it's so big and so actually having people there to resolve exceptions and continually train to avoid drift and shift in and all the things and bias and all the things that can cause ai to not deliver on on the promise and so um so yeah, it's a big reality today that humans in the loop are important. Um, but I would say it's a little bit, it's a little bit bifurcated, right? Where a lot of our business today is helping teams either kind of in R and D mode, where they are trying to just get training data to get a model, and then they, you know, still unfortunately, it's a little like software where you throw it over the fence to the actual operations business kind of scaling team. And so, and then many times we'll deal with those customers, right? Where they're coming in more from a procurement operations um, product uh, side of things where they uh, have to fill that gap. And so many yeah. times we're dealing with our, our teams, our customers that are on one side of the fence. Yeah. And that's the reality today is actually humans are required in a big way, both to train and to sustain AI. What we're yeah. excited about, though, is the direction that everything's going with a shift from model centric to data centric, where those things have to be connected. Um, yeah. And so certainly that's what we're seeing is a lot of our customers that are the most mature in AI uh, capabilities, they have really been able to make a shift so that it is a continuous innovation where they're able to, um, you know, effectively get that that feedback and iteration loop just happening so much quicker that causes them to be able to to win in whatever market they're in.